What's going on guys? Alex here, Nick and Zon and Landscape. Today we are returning to a project that we worked on a couple of weeks ago. We weren't able to finish the entire thing because they're getting a new concrete driveway and a new concrete sidewalk. So we're headed back over there today to button a few things up and add a little bit of sod. The previous video where we were at this property was a landscape demolition. So all we showed was us tearing things out. We got most of it rebuilt. Like I said, we just got to button a few things up and add some sod. So we'll show you guys that. And we also have another little landscape job we're going to do. So we're going to make this video a vlog type and we'll show you guys both jobs. <laughs> We forgot mixed gas and we're definitely going to need that today so we had to come up here to Ace. Nick ran inside and grabbed some of the steel mixes and we used the silver one, the Ultra. Now we're going to stop by Tractor Supply and grab a two and a half gallon no spill. I've been needing to buy one anyway so this actually works out pretty good. Put a couple gallons in there. Alright guys, so like I said we started this project a while ago and as you can see behind me they got a new driveway. They also got a new sidewalk over there, a new section of a sidewalk here, and then another one leading up to the front door. So we did our part in the demo and part of the reinstallation, but we couldn't finish the project until this concrete was done. So now it's time to finish. probably noticing a couple of things here and I want to point those out that are unique about this project first thing I want to point out is this hose the customer ran some PVC pipe two inch PVC pipe under all the concrete before they poured they wanted to be able to run a hose under there to water everything and just have access around the house they don't have that many spigots so that was important to him so he did that so we do have this hose here we're gonna bury that with rock but we did not want to put the weed mat over top of it just in case he does need to remove it or replace it Second thing is these plants. These plants are being reused. We dug those out when we tore out the original landscape and he's been watering them every day since to keep them alive and we're replanting those and that's going to save them a bunch of money. These liriope go anywhere from seven to fifteen dollars a piece depends where you go and buy them and we're reusing about 20 of them. So you can do the math but that's a big savings. So when we did this install, we got everything back here done. And over here by the sidewalk, what we did was roll the weed barrier up, made it about a foot longer, two foot longer than we thought it needed to be, rolled it back and pinned it down and left a gap for them to do this sidewalk here. So you can see it's not finished along the edge, but all the weed barrier is there and just rolled up and pinned back. So all we gotta do is unroll it, cut it to the correct length, Pin it up against the sidewalk and we're done. Well, we're not done. We gotta add some liriope over here. We're adding three liriope on that flat section, four liriope on this flat section, and then three on this section that goes behind me. Or, yeah, three on this section too.
All right guys, so we got the remainder of the weed barrier laid down and we also got all of the riope planted, which finishes our plantings for this property, or for this project, except for one knockout rose that I have to go pick up right now. I also am picking up sod and a little bit more rock. I'm gonna get 1.25 ton of rock and we're getting 900 square foot of sod. That rose bush and I gotta get a little bit of poly sand for a job we're doing later. And that should wrap up the materials for this job. So while I'm gone, Nick is gonna go around with the tiller you can see along this new concrete, they got dirt. We're gonna put one strip of sod there. And then we got a section right here. And one more section over there in the back. And then that rose bush is going right in the center of that bed where that rock is. So he's gonna finish tilling up and getting that prepped and I'm gonna go grab the rest of the material. So I've already grabbed the sod. I just pulled up the market basket here. We're gonna get 1.25 or 2,500 pounds of this Iowa multicolor rock, uh, knockout rose, and some poly sand for a few pavers we gotta fix later on. So I got everything I need besides the poly sand. They don't carry that color here, and I didn't know if they did or not. I've never even used the color that I need. It's a really, really dark, almost like a black. Uh, I don't know why they used it at the property where I need it to fix those pavers, but they did. And there's no going back now because it's in between all the pavers, and only a few of them are screwed up, so. I gotta match it, but that's not gonna happen today. Cause like I said, they don't carry it here, so I don't have time to go anywhere else. But I did get my rock, I got my knockout rows, and I've got the sod. So we got everything we need to complete this job. Hopefully Nick's got everything tilled up whenever we get back. Ready to slap down some sod, put this rose bush in, a little bit more rock. And that's all she wrote. So let's get back there and get her done. guys so that's it we are all finished that wraps up this project all together this project took over a week and now I'm gonna flip through some before and after pictures So we just got started on our second property. Nick and I laid out a little bit of weed mat and then I left to come and get mulch and he's over there laying some Windsors around a tree. 
I got two and a half buckets of mulch. I got the red dyed. That's what the customer wanted. We're putting that around some pine trees. And then we're gonna have to come back here one more time and get a little bit of rock. But this job is pretty quick. It's said two and a half buckets of mulch, which is equivalent to about three yards in the tractor that I use or that they have to load. I need about three quarter ton of rock or 1500 pounds. And then we needed a little bit of weed barrier and that's it. So it's gonna take us, I don't know, probably two hours, an hour and a half or two hours by the time it's said and done to finish this project. But it's a $500 project. So that's not bad. And my material cost is around $100. So that's $400 in an hour and a half, hopefully is what I'm about what I'm thinking it's gonna take. So not bad money. So good. Tastes like candy, seriously. So there's where we put down the weed barrier. Said it wasn't a big area at all. Gonna be putting some multicolor rock in there to match what they got here, which is what they have all around the front. Nick should be over here. Look at that, he's already done. Looks like we got pretty even gaps too. So we got this, and we gotta install that little bit of rock where we put the weed barrier, and then we got the three yards of mulch going over under some pine trees, and that's it. And that wraps it up for this one, guys. My camera did die, so I didn't get any pictures of that little area of rock, but I think we can all imagine what that looked like. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. Be sure to give this one a thumbs up if you liked it, and also comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe for similar videos. You can also check us out on Instagram, and you can check us out on Facebook. I'll see you in the next one.